was big, but I didn't realize it was that big. That's what she said. Oh my gosh. It is like boiled almost and wet looking. I am so freaking excited about that. We are back with our Tuesday tutorials. I'm gonna go ahead and pick stuff out. I'm gonna pick out my brow products like normal. All right, let's go ahead and pick out a primer. I wanna do this one. This is the liquid glass. My skin is like, I don't know, my eyes hurt really bad. I don't know if it's from the amount of filming I'm doing or whatnot. And then I think I'm gonna take the Dr. Brandt. I'm gonna move into the foundation. So for foundation today, I think I'm gonna do a combination. What's new? Um, I kind of wanna take my uh, e.l.f. Flawless one, but I need to take something really dark with it because that is really light, which reminds me I should probably go today and get something a lot darker. So I'm gonna mix it with the Aruba. I'm gonna try to use this as much as possible right now. So I'm doing pretty good at doing like rotating through these blushes. So let's try moving into a blush palette. And I think I wanna take maybe my Z palette, maybe do something like old and good from the Z palette. We'll try that. For highlight, I wanna do, let's do one of these, these diamond fire ones from Too Faced, like the diamond lights. I think I wanna take this one. All right, so we are moving into this drawer right here. I really wanna keep it very light because my eyes really hurt. I've been pre-filming a lot, so my eyes are like kind of on fire. Um, so what do we have? We've got some of these Milani palettes. I swear, I keep trying with these and they just don't work. Um, I've got this Pixie palette here. I feel like we haven't played with Pixie in a while. You guys wanna try that one? Cause I do Wet n Wild, I've done Milani. We've got the Catrice. I've done the ones in the back. Let's do this one and just keep it light maybe. I kinda wanna focus more on the skin than the actual eyes. I know we do a lot of eye looks, but I really wanna focus on the face today because I've been kind of pre-filming and because of pre-filming, my eyes feel a little raw. So I don't wanna be super crazy with the eyes. We'll see at the end of this video what happens, but I'm gonna go ahead and just sanitize my hands because I've been touching stuff. I did pick out two primers today. It is gonna be butt ass hot. I'm actually gonna go in with the Dr. Brandt. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More. So usually my pores are really wide, like right here. And right about here. And then whatever's left over, I kinda just smooth over my textured area. Next up I have is this here, which is the Liquid Glass by Farsali. This is the Radiant Makeup Skin Serum. So I got this in a boxy charm and I actually really enjoyed it. I was very nervous that I wouldn't like it because it does have a little bit, it looks like there's glitter in it, like a slight glitter tinge. That's why it looks kind of purple, but there isn't. And it does such a good job at just hydrating the skin um, and just making sure that the skin is well nourished and ready for makeup. Today's foundation, we picked out the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This is a, in the shade 220 Beige, and this one has cool pink undertones. So because this is so light on me, but I love the finish of it, I'm gonna take a little bit of this Dirty Ass NARS. This is the Radiant Longwear Foundation in Aruba. I did not pick out this shade. This is actually a shade that NARS sent to me when they were promoting their foundation. So I appreciate NARS thinking that I'm a lot more tan than I actually am. All right. So I got them mixed up. I know you guys are gonna laugh at me, but like, you know, they always talk about how if you drink water, you'll see differences in your skin and stuff. I've drank so much water in the last like three weeks because I've gained weight. So I'm like, um, girl needs to be drinking more water and less liquor. It's amazing. It's so stupid, but it's amazing how well my skin has been doing because I've been drinking so much water. If you're somebody that like struggles to drink water like me, do you guys put anything in your water to like, you know, so it's not just so bland. Cucumbers I do, but right now I'm waiting for my cucumbers to grow. They're like this big, they're so cute. Um, so I haven't put any cucumbers yet, but once like my cucumbers grow in from the garden, then I'll definitely add cucumbers to it. But do you guys put anything else like strawberries? Like, uh, I've done strawberries before 
and it just after a while it gets kind of nasty looking for concealer i did pick out the makeup obsession concealer if you have dark circles i don't think it's going to cover very well so i'm going to go in with a little bit of the benefit boing concealer so i do like this concealer though just like for a lighter weight highlight effect uh, so this is actually, this video is filmed the day before 4th of July because I'm trying to get ahead of my pre-filming game um, because my niece and nephew are going to stay with us for the next two to three weeks and they're little, they're the same ages as my kids. So I'm going to have four kids in this house for the next about three weeks. So I have a feeling I'm just not going to have time during the day. So I'm really trying to crack down on filming. I decided to use the MAC Oppressed Powder. I have the shade NW25. And I'm gonna use this for underneath my eyes. Normally this is like what I would use for like my actual face. I just wanted to try something different. Oh my gosh, this is way too pink. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's definitely not highlighting. I know how people feel about me using the Kat Von D on here on my channel, um, but this is one of my favorite powders. So just for, for pretend that you guys don't see this palette. I'm gonna use a yellow corrector just for underneath my eyes. I'm also gonna take whatever's left over and put it over my brows. I'm just gonna go in and do my brows really quickly. My brow routine is the same. I'm not going to show you guys my brow routine just cause you guys see it all the time. And I do have a couple different brow routines that I will link in the iCard here if you guys wanna check it out after. So we got that done pretty quickly. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and set the rest of my face and I'm gonna be using the LA Pro matte powder. I do like this powder. I've been using it now for over a month. I decided to pull in the color spectrum from Zoeva. Yellow, oh, I guess I could have used that yellow shade. I'm not the biggest fan of the yellow shade though. I think it's like too yellow, but I do love these two shades. And then down here, this is a highlighter. The highlighter's okay. It's like a yellowish toned highlighter, not my favorite, but we're gonna dive into a combination. I kind of want to bronze up the skin more than anything today. So we're just gonna kind of dive into it. I really like this brush though, these unicorn brushes, because they're very easy to mold to your skin, or to your skin, to your face. So the nice thing about these is that once you kind of have it molded to how you like it, it'll stay like that. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but in my opinion, I think it's a good thing. So I pulled out my Z palette. I've got a bunch of different blushes here for my Z palette to play around with. I've got a lot of old Makeup Geek, Inglot, and a couple Macs. So this is the Inglot blush I'm gonna use, and this is in the shade 25. I have not found Inglot in my area around here. Um, the last time I found Inglot, well, the only place I've ever found Inglot was um, where my parents lived in Temecula. It's been over a year since I've been there, so I don't know if they still have it, but. So I went ahead and I just sprayed my face off camera really quickly to let everything settle in. I did pull out this little bad boy. This is the Too Faced Diamond Light Fire, Fire Highlighter. So here's what it looks like. I think, honestly, this collection right here, this like pretty, pretty little collection is honestly so. It's too damp early for this. We're gonna try something else. I'm gonna go back into my Z palette and I have a couple different highlighters to choose from. So this one here is Lumi Lavish. I don't know what that is. I don't know what this is. I gotta figure out what this brand is, but this is the one I'm gonna use today. This says Lumi Lash. It's really pretty. I think I may have gotten this in like a like an Ipsy bag or something, and it came as like a, you know, like a single. We'll use this. I'm just like so irritated right now. Oh damn, okay. So funny, whenever I'm doing like highlight on my cheeks, I always think when I have my sunglasses on and I'm sitting in the car, how do I want people to see my highlight? Don't want it up here, don't want it here. I don't know why I always think that. That's like literally what I think about when I'm putting highlight on my face. So for the eyes, we're gonna be using the Pixi Eye Reflection Shadow Palette. Much more cooler tone. Let me take this shade right here. This basically all over my eye. Cause I wanna create that like inner, that cat eye wing. Is that what they call it? The cat eye wing, the feline cat eye wing or something like that. Where it's like inner corner and outer corner. I think that's what I wanna do today. Here's the thing. Number one, I have this like really weird thing the inner corner of my eye like loops in. How do I explain it? Like it goes inside, my flap goes in, not on the outside. And some of the girls that I watch whose eyelids, when they do the look, their, la like their inner corner of their eye 
goes outside, like it flaps outward. I don't know how to explain it. So it's very difficult for me to do these inner corner lines. I feel like you have to have the right inner corner placement of your eyelid. You get what I'm saying? Like the flaps have to be right on the inner corner, otherwise it's a mess. So that's why I don't do it as much, but I love it. Like the look of it, oh, it's so beautiful. Let's take this shade right here, this like satin shade, and pop that right here on the inner corner. Really highlight it. I kind of want to take this shade right here. It's like a khaki, like a khaki green, like a grayish green. You guys can see it's really pretty. So I think I want to take that kind of on the outer corner of the eye also. This palette's got a lot of fallout and this color is very light. I'm actually for the liner. I do want to do the liner really quickly before I move into anything else. So I'm going to take this. This is a DHC liquid, DHC liquid eyeliner pen. It's got a really tiny pointed precise tip to it. So I feel like it should work. So what I'm going to do is just fill in the wing first like a normal wing. The other reason why I don't like doing this is because I do have like really bad allergies and I always poke at the inner corner of my eyes so it never lasts very long. Like I can guarantee you by the end of today, it'll most likely be gone. So I'm gonna leave it like that really quickly. I'm gonna do the other eye and then what I do is I have to clean it up. I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer. I gotta fix this all up. And I'm gonna take a little concealer brush and just start fixing it because I need these lines to be sharp. I need to open up the eye a little bit so I'm gonna take a cream liner and run that on my waterline. I'm gonna dive into the darkest shade down here and I'm gonna use that along my lash line. If you guys don't like dark shadows like you like more of the lighter shadows you would like this because this is even though this is dark it is not as intense as it looks in the pan. This is just a very very light formula. I found these lashes, honestly, I don't know what style they are, but I was looking for any sort of lash that will kind of taper very fluffy on the outer corners. They just go in with the uncensored mascara. I've been using the one from Lily Lashes, this one here, and I'm not the biggest fan. Mine like clumps my lashes together. I don't know how I feel about that. While I'm waiting on that, I'm just going to go ahead and fill my lips in. I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty lip liner to fill it in for the red lipstick and I'm going to be using the shade Cheerleader. And there you have it. Like that. All right, let me go ahead and finish up with the little lips because this looks crazy. For lipstick, I'm going in with the Urban Decay Vice lipstick in the shade Hex. This is a mega matte. And then I do want to add a little bit of gloss and I'm actually going to go in with the Benefit Punch Pop Gloss. This is in the shade Strawberry. All right, so I wanted to show you guys a different look. I'm like doing this after I film this video, but I want to show you guys what it looks like after with a different lip look. So I just went ahead and I canceled it out because I wasn't the biggest fan of that red. And this is using a MAC lip liner. This is in the shade Whirl, very popular lip liner. Now I'm going to do a brown. I think this looks so much better than the red. The red was fine, but like after I got done trying to like film an outro and stuff, I just noticed that it started bleeding and it just wasn't my favorite and I didn't like the look in total. So I decided to go in and do like a more cooler tone brown to kind of pair with this eye look. So I'm using the Selena and MAC Collection Liquid Lipstick in Big Bertha. It's one of my favorite shades right now. That entire MAC and Selena like collection was so good, but genuinely loved the lip products the most. So that is so much better, you guys. I love this look so much more with the, with the brown lip than I do with the red. Thank you all so much for watching it. If you guys have any tips or tricks on how you guys do like the inner corner, let me know. Like, I feel like they're kind of lopsided, but it's the best I could do. I do these every Tuesday. I do a throwback tutorial Tuesday. I do have a playlist down below that I put in the description box. And then I will have some videos on some of my newest videos that I just posted here. So I hope you guys will check them out. If you guys are new, I hope you guys will hit that subscribe button and make sure to turn on your notifications so you guys are notified when I upload a video. I will see you guys all in my next video and I appreciate your love and support. Thank you and thanks so much for watching.